Hey everybody, I'm John, I collect cards. It's Monday evening, December 12th. Hope you had a nice weekend. Um, we're in full holiday mode uh, here at our house. Uh, obviously we were since Thanksgiving, I guess you could say, but uh, um, we, just got, we just got the tree this past weekend, we decorated it, and um, all that stuff. So um, yeah, so uh, you know, bring on Christmas, I guess, but not too quickly. Um, but uh, I'm going to show three cards here in this quick little video and kind of under the theme of, you know, you ever have those moments when you're sort of just, you know, you feel like perusing on eBay one night on an average weeknight, and then you find yourself buying a few cards that almost like have a little theme to them. Has that ever happened to you? Um, it's happened, it happened to me a couple weeks ago and I just thought I'd uh, show the three cards I got, uh, here. Um, got them all on Greg Morris. Um, wasn't planning on, I was just uh, poking around, you know, and, uh, you know, just ended up buying three interesting cards. And the theme of this is, um, they were all, um, New York, New York Yankees, uh, front office execs at one time, uh, after their playing careers. Um, it just kind of turned out that way. First card I bought, this was all on the same night on, um, on Morris, um, running as a vintage auction. So, uh, the first one I'm going to show here is actually the first card in my collection now, pre-1950, which is kind of cool. Um, it's like a little milestone, I feel like, that uh, I kind of crossed over. Nothing too major, but and it's also not pre-war. It's uh, from 1949 Bowman. Um, but hey, it's past before 1950, and so it's obviously pre-Tops era. Um, so for me, that's something. Um and I really like this card. I don't know, it just sort of just it just sort of gravitated to me here. And here it is right here. It's a 1949 Bowman Bobby Brown rookie card. Now you would think, based on the coloring on this card, that did he play for the New York Giants? <laughs> um, no, he played for the Yankees, of course, uh, for about eh, seven, eight years. Um uh in between uh winters when he was attending medical school. Uh, and so the future Dr. Bobby Brown, uh, future American League president, future, um, so actually I'm trying to think, he may not have been in the Yankees front office, so maybe my theme wasn't entirely accurate, but he was a baseball executive, um, um, a very, you know, notable one, um, and a very successful cardiologist, um, after he completed medical school, um, in, um, uh, in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, um, and so... Yeah, Bobby Brown, I just, just, I don't know, the fact that this is rookie card, and it's just a really cool card itself, but, uh, and again, about the Giants thing with the orange, I wonder if, like, you know, they're colorers, or paint, not painters, but just illustrators, or whoever, you know, is kind of applying finishing touches on their cards, I wonder if they confused, like, New York Yankees for New York Giants at one point in the set, if anybody knows that, I would be really interested to know that in the comments, um, because I, I looked, I tried to see if there were other Yankees from this 49 Bowman set that were like this. And um, this is a low number. And there are, I think, two or three other Yankees low numbers that also have the same, um, like, interesting or strange orange coloring on the NY. So you can see Bobby Brown's number 19 out of 240. You can see the back is actually really nice on this card. I mean, you can really, the lettering is fantastic on this, um, which really kind of drew me. Um, I am kind of, you know... a um, I think backs are underrated on cards. I've said that several times in past videos. This one, I mean, the text just jumps. It's really, uh, I thought was, you know, pretty, not say stunning, but just really interesting. And the color, obviously that purple color on this is, uh, I think that's just some dust there. I don't think that's, yeah, you can see it sort of moving. Um, I don't think, yeah, there might be a speck of white on the actual card there. I can't actually tell, but, um, but overall, the color on this card, the purple background, just really pops, too. So this is just a really cool card, and it's his rookie card. You know, he played on several of those early mid-50s Yankees teams. Um, you think he served in... Oh, I think he fought in... Uh, maybe not two... Did he fight in two wars? I'm trying to remember. He may have been in both World War II and Korea, I believe. Um, correct me if I'm wrong there. I did my homework on it like a few days ago, but didn't, it was just that glancing at Wikipedia and didn't really like cram before I turned the video camera on here. So, <laughs> but I think he did. I mean, just a, again, a fascinating life this guy led. Um, um, you know, long time base, uh, I think he 
I think he kind of came out of, if I read right, he was in the front office for the Texas Rangers for a time. Um, and then in like maybe the seventies or so, and then come eighties, he was, uh, you know, was, uh, named American league president served, I think in that role for almost a decade. He may have been the last American league president, um, before kind of like the commissioner's office, um, you know, kind of did away with those roles, um, in the AL and NL. Um, but anyway, this is my first, yeah, pre 1950s card. Um, I might grade it actually. Um, it's a little off center, but, um, it just looks pretty cool. And I think, um. I might get it graded someday. I don't know. We'll see. Um, it wasn't a very pricey card. I think I paid I paid less than 30 for it. I think I paid like about 25 roughly for it. So um happy with it. And I think that's that's basically what I think you know the PSA is kind of listing it in the five ballpark. So um yeah, I I just thought I'd show that. And so you know, as the auctions went on, I ended up picking up two more cards with of players that had uh Yankee, uh, or at least baseball executive ties. And these last two, definitely Yankee front office ties. And the second one is a 1952, 52 Bowman? Yeah, 52 Bowman. I think this is the only 52 Bowman card I actually have. Um, it is Clyde King, a uh, Brooklyn Dodgers pitcher here. I just thought, you know, these cards are, you know, they're not 52 tops, uh, but they're interesting. They're very, um, you know, artful in some ways. And so... I kind of like the uh, the backdrop that they put on this one. Um, that you know, it seemed like he's in the ballpark. Um, I thought it was just an interesting little card. I picked it up. This one I got really cheap. I got it for like three bucks, roughly, if I remember right. And that's because it's got some paper loss on on the back, um, as you can see right there. Um, Might have been tape or something. And if it was tape, it was actually you know could have been a whole lot worse. Um, but aside from that, cards in decent shape. But of course, the paper loss kind of ruins it for. Any kind of real value, but you know, for three bucks or so, I think mean, yeah, I think it was really literally about three bucks. Um, that's just a little fun card to have in the collection. <clears throat> uh, Clyde King managed the Yankees for a short time, also. I think he was like a mid-season replacement during you know George's kind of peak firing and hiring days as uh, for his managers. Um, but he was in the front office. And I think he was a scout for them for a long time as well. So just a cool card, I thought there. Um, and then the last one is kind of the most special of the three. Um, it's probably also got the, probably has the most value, even a little bit more than the, than the Bobby Brown one here. It's from 1953 Bowman Collar. Um, this is the fourth one I have now in, the, in um, my collection. I'm not going to collect the set, but I really like the set. It's such a classic, and uh, there'll definitely be more cards in my collection over, uh, over time. And it is Al Rosen. So Al Rosen won the 1953 um, AL Most Valuable Player Award. So this is kind of a, a cool card to have on that note. Um, it's also in pretty good condition. Um, this one doesn't have any paper loss or anything issues like that on the back. Neither did Brown. Um, but uh, I love that he's in Yankee Stadium in this one. Um, here's the back really quick. The uh, kind of Greg Morris label sort of coloring part of it here. And I'm not going to take it out, so... because. I might get this one graded. Um, I didn't buy it with the intention to grade it, but I might grade it someday. Even though, like, you know, Rosen's on a Hall of Famer, but he was a, you know, several-time All-Star and an MVP, um, just kind of a 50s, 1950s star, and a baseball executive. Uh, he served, uh, actually, as the Houston Astros, I think, like, president of baseball ops, um, longer than he was in the Yankee front office. He was a, he was a Houston for several years in the 80s, maybe almost a decade. Um, but for the short time, he was Yankees president um, in 1977, 78, maybe 79, I think he kind of quit when the turmoil really began, I think, kind of. Yeah, I think he was there for all 78. I think he quit in 79. Um, could be wrong, but I think that's right. Um, anyway, so again, I love that he's in Yankee Stadium here. And the reason why I like this card is, in you know, I've mentioned i sort of described the story in um, another video i did a few months back um but basically al rosen had a lot to do with my first baseball game big league game that i ever went to um so i'll just I'll briefly rehash the story here um basically my dad drove a uh, taxi cab for a lot of his uh professional days and uh he was you know he was also sort of in the main office as well but he drove a cab for a, quite a while 
um, and it was a yellow cab back in the late 70s here when Rosen was uh, president of the Yanks. Um, later on, he drove like one of those like kind of Lincoln Town Car livery cabs um, for the same service. But um, back in the yellow cab days, they and even in, in those uh, town car days, they had the Yankees as an account of theirs. Um, they were based in the Bronx, the taxi service he drove for. Um, so they were just, you know, right around the corner practically or you know, a mile or two away from where the office was. Um, and so he'd pick up players every so often in the car and, um, occasionally he'd get an autograph along the way of those, you know, we never, we never really held on to him, unfortunately, which was kind of sad, but you know, a few times he got autos. Um, cause he, you know, yeah, I think he just had a really, he sort of had, my dad had the gift of gab, um, when it came to that kind of stuff, I, you know, I, I think, and just, he was able to strike conversations, um, with folks in the car. I actually rode, had to. I had the privilege to kind of as a kid to kind of ride around with him on a couple of shifts. And so I kind of experienced it for myself as like a eight, nine, 10 year old, um, which was kind of interesting. Um, but um, one night he had Al Rosen in his car. Um, long story short, I guess they must have hit it off and really had a nice conversation because um, this was in 1978. I was five years old. Um, but, you know, if, you know, it's, as it turns out, um, I guess uh, he connected my dad with the Yankee ticket office. And uh, my first baseball game was August 26th, I believe the date was, 1978, against the Oakland A's. And uh, my dad and I sat in the second row behind the visitor Oakland A's dugout. Um, and, you know, just kind of was a, just kind of a, kind of a magical moment in my life that I remember to this day. Um, just one of those things. So um, the Yankees won that game 5-4. to four. Greg Nettles had a home run in the bottom of the eighth inning that, uh, uh, you know, won the game. Uh, essentially, and it was right in the midst of their um, um, uh, playoff chase where they were catching uh, Boston after Boston had the big lead, and so they were chipping away at it at that point. Um, so anyway, I want this card kind of is special in that regard. Um, so that's why I picked this one up. So on the same night, I picked up these three cards, all with kind of Yankee connections in their history, but also kind of like baseball executive connections, and I just thought it was... Uh, Kind of a you know fun add to the collection, and I thought I'd share that little story uh, um, of that night. So, anyway, hope your week's off to a good start. I hope you have a great week. See you on the next video.